reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on the laws of logarithms. And in this lesson, we are going to look at how you can apply or how we can use the laws of logarithms. And it is a continuation of the first lesson that we had on the introduction to the laws of logarithms. Now, what are we given here? We are given a simplifying problem. It says we must simplify. If I can write that. We must simplify the given expression. So we are supposed to simplify log in base 2 of 0, 0,25 squared. So now there are many ways that you can always approach um, questions with, with laws of logarithms because there is more than one law that can be applied or more than one way that can be applied. So let us try to look at some of these uh, given the time that we're having. So um, the first one that we are going to first uh, look at is if I can write that we are given log in base of 2 of 0 0.25 and then is a square. The first thing that is important is to look at the power and then if I remind you of one law that has got a power if they say log in base of a of x to the power of y if you still remember the y will drop down to become a number before the log so it this becomes y log in base a of x so now if we were to use the same law here this will be equal to 2 log base 2 of 0 0.25 so basically, that is how you can bring the two to before the log. Now, the next thing that we also must realize, if I can write here, is 0, 0.25 is difficult to work with unless we change it into a fraction. This is same as 25 over 100, which is same as 1 over a 4. So you've got 1 over 4. So in this case, if we can continue with that, we'll have this is equal to... 2 log 1 over 4 and then we can continue again now there is a law that applies uh, a division if you still remember the law well, with a division it says if you are given log base of x over I mean let's say base of a and then you've got x over y this is same as log in base a of x minus the division sign is the negative sign minus log in base of a of y so if i can take this law and apply it back here what i'm going to have i'm going to have two we put a bracket log or oh, there's a base two there let's not forget that log base 2 of 1 minus because of that division sign minus log in base of 2 of 4 and then this also further becomes um, there is another law using a different marker again another law remember log in base of a of 1 is equal to a 0 so any whatever base it can be as long there is a 1 that becomes a 0 so further it means this is actually a zero so you're going to have two zero minus log base two now before i write the four remember four is same as two squared so i'll write it as two to the power of two why because there is a reason why i'm doing that same thing if we can write that it now becomes two into minus log base 2 of 2 squared if I can create some more space from what I'm given here now there's something interesting that I want you to notice also is when you are given 
2 to the log in base 2 of 2 squared, we are back again to our first uh, the law that we used in the beginning to say log in base of a of x to the power y in this case our a is the 2 our x is the 2 and then our y is the 2 so we can now drop down again the 2 so we are going to have a 2 minus a 2 log base of 2 of 2 again we can apply a law what does the law say it says log in base of a of a if the base and the number are the same you get a 1 so this further simplifies to become 2 into minus 2 now the 2 and the 2 here remember they give a 1 so this is like a 1 so it will be 2 into minus 2 times a 1 then the answer will be a negative 4. So that's how you can simplify um, this kind of a problem whereby you're supposed to simplify the laws of logarithms. And then beside that, uh, if I can bring quickly another method, I'm just going to work a bit faster. Remember, as I say, this is not the only way, but whenever you are working or simplifying with the laws of logarithms, there are many different ways that you can use. The only thing that I need you to be careful of is you mustn't always work in cycles. So always know that whatever you're doing can lead you to the next stage. For example, if you can work it now in also faster way without uh, going through all the steps that we did. So this can be simple saying this is log in base of 2. Now you can see. This is 1 over, remember one zero comma two five. we say same as 1 over 4 to the power 2. You can continue and say this same as log 2 and then 1 over 4 squared is same as 1 over 16 which is equal to log in base of 2. You can use a calculator, remember 4 squared is 16 there. This is same as 1 over, if I bring my calculator here, 16 in terms of 2, remember, uh, 2 to the power of 5, let's check that, is 32, 2 to the power of 4, what do we get? We get 16, so you can see that we can say 16 is same as 2 to the power of 4, so you can write this as 2 to the power of 4. So now, because we have written that, using the laws of exponents, um, we can take 2 to the power of 4 to go up and we introduce a negative. So this then becomes log in base of 2 of 2 to the power negative 4. Do you see that? So now this is same as equal to. I'm using now the same law that we used previously. If you are given log in base of x, of a to the power b you know that you drop the b and say log in base of x of a the b is the one that is dropped so you drop the b below so the same thing here you are going to look at this negative 4 you are going to drop it before the log so what you're going to have this is same as minus 4 log base 2 of 2 so now, the next thing that you must remember, you need to remember, is also another law. Remember this law which says log base of a and a, you get a 1. So if the base and the number are the same, you get a 1. So in this case here, log base of 2 of 2, this must also give you a 1. So in actual fact, you are having here a minus 4 and then multiply it by a 1, you get a negative 4. This is similar to the previous answer that we got. We have come to the end of our lesson, and as I said initially, this is how you can solve a problem where you're supposed to simplify the laws of logarithms. I reach out for my dreams. I reach out for my vision. Reached out for help that I thought I needed Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of